Well, hey, everybody. Hey, I finally made it back out here, right? Okay, well, I'm going to try to make it a short version this time. <laughs> I've only made like 20 videos, none of which went up. Okay, so uh, first of all, I wanted to share that, my goodness, look at these skies, right? Now, it is 73 degrees, and we're not expecting any rain. Now, that's north of me over there, and I... I know that our brother Chad up there in Oklahoma is expecting some snow, but we've had our rain. You can see that the ground is still green and growing, and well, I don't know what's going on, but it's a roller coaster, that's for sure. So this morning, like uh, when I came out here at 7.32, I think it was, like right after sunrise, I looked up here and this whole thing was silver. I've never seen anything like it. All right. And I'm older than dirt. You know that. Um, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so, okay. So, what makes things silver, right? What do they use, right, to make things silver? Well, you can answer that question without me saying the A word, right? <laughs> we know what's in there. So, in, a, in other words, the, the projector screen is ready to go, right? Uh, so, yeah, I've got some other pictures I can throw up there, and I'm wondering if I can able to put that up as a thumbnail. All right, so I did want to share that if anybody knew about the fact that uh, China actually, a few days ago, launched a sun that was five times hotter than the original sun and bigger and it was 17 minutes long. Are you kidding me? I'm still seeing 17s everywhere. 11, 7, and 7, 11. All right, along with the other usual, but more predominantly. I'm thinking, well, this is cray. Um, so then I had also put the other in there about a mirror and the biblical stuff that's happening, right? Like totally. And how. For seven minutes, for the first time since 9-11, all planes across the USA were grounded. Um, well, they're, they're, they're saying China, they're saying Russia, they're saying North Korea, they're saying all kinds of things, right? <laughs> well, I know the truth on about some other things, and maybe I can share on Saturday Night Live, okay? But I noticed that too, and I was sitting here going, wait. That's crazy. I haven't heard a plane, but it was a whole lot longer than seven minutes here. That's for sure. And I had also talked about all the movements that I've been hearing up here. And they always seem to do it at night and or because of the fact that it's so cold that you can't get outside and video it. <laughs> and or if you do video it, you lose a video or can't get it up. So being a barometric pressure person, I've been kind of down. The dogs have been kind of down. Um, so for the past couple of days, it's like, you know, wow, ever since, ever since, okay, like Saturday Night's Live, I, I get tested on everything. So filling myself up with good sound doctrine, Pastor JD, Pastor Amir, you know, going back to basics, your first love, and wow, just putting that all back in perspective just oh just really helped me a lot um because i think that you know for for some of us oldie but moldies <laughs> no <laughs> oldies but goodies that's it <laughs> um we can tend to forget where you know the basics is because so many other things have come up in the meantime that have said oh well it might mean this or it might mean that right but hey the bible is true he doesn't change the same yesterday today and tomorrow and there's nothing new under the sun nobody's going to win a prize for guessing anything other than the fact that we know that we are in the season and it could be at any moment right so of course we're, we're watching every moment, but I know that there's others out there that, that watch for other high times, and, and that's okay, too, because sometimes people need that. I get that, um, but we also know that time is messed up as we know it. So, saying all that, <laughs> all right, let's get back to, uh, I know what you're waiting to hear for, okay? So, uh, just knowing that my goodness, I think there was like three days straight where I was just 
running and running and running here constantly from the time in the morning until the time I went to bed at night. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I mean, these were things I had to do. And I just didn't know how I was able to get it all done other than Jesus. <laughs> and I would be walking upstairs at night just praising the Lord and thanking him and like literally falling into bed and passing out and thinking, oh my goodness, only you could have done this, Lord. Only you could have kept me, sustained me. I'm not even supposed to pick up five pounds, right? <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, had to do what you have to do when it's freezing, pouring rain and you, you know, everything that's going on. So then I'm watching the little Jesus at the same time watching for reports, <laughs> I'm writing everything down. Everything's getting scattered. Um, the dogs were kind of down, so I'm gonna kind of put up a video this morning because things were different today for some reason. It was like I said, the sky was like all, all silver, and these guys were, were full of it this morning, and like very much alive, and they wanted to play. And there was one part where um, when I say Jesus, Molly normally like spins around and dances with me and stuff like that and oh she just wanted to play and, and and be a brat this morning but Dora as I told you before is like kind of half human she's a hybrid and she talks but I've never been able to catch her in, enough and when I do you know they're not going to do it when you ask them to but then again if you're not awake <laughs> you're not catching it but <laughs> I Okay, so saying that, I had asked Dora, I said, are you ready to go home? And she said in the video that I'm going to put up, home. <laughs> I'm like, oh my goodness, phone on me to you, right? Well, I didn't catch it until after, of course, when I did the replay. And then she does say, I love you. And in the video, you can hear her saying that as well. And my goodness. Maddie and Molly and Dora and even Pia the kitty were out here this morning at the same time I had squirrels coming at me from everywhere and I'm like hey y'all uh, uh, this old lady needs to get some coffee in her ear <laughs> it's like they wanted to play it okay so knowing all these things and knowing like you know there was like one thing after another that was happening like since Saturday it was like every it was, you know how they say, like when you're about to die, how your whole life goes before your eyes. Well, no, I'm not about to die. <laughs> That's not it. But it was like every single dream, vision, everything I had just happened to be like confirmed. And I'm like going, what? You know, I'm, I'm nobody, Lord. I'm nothing. How could you even share this with me? How would I even know? You know, remember the time, like I'm telling you here now, remember the time when we used to go to Kroger, which was like my favorite place. Everybody knew me. I knew the place like the back of my hand. I was very comfortable there. Uh, you know, when it was all going down, when the Lord told me to get out there and go buy these things that I had no clue that I was buying Lysol wipes and baby wipes and TP for what? Right? And this was before we knew what happened. So when it did happen, I had it and accessible for me, but I also gave it away to the elderly and the people in the neighborhood that couldn't find certain things. I was, it was very easy to give it away. Okay? Isn't that what we do? And also a great opportunity to talk about Jesus, in which, of course, I took that opportunity every single time. Thank you, Lord. Praising the Lord the whole time. Okay, so let's talk about the other night. So I had to get to the grocery store. And I knew it was early, <laughs> even though it's still dark early, right? Um, <clears throat> and when I drove into the parking lot, the first thing I noticed, I'm going to give you the short version here for the sake of time. Um, I noticed something was unusual because the parking lot was like almost completely empty. I'm like, this is not normal. <laughs> okay, what is, right? Um, but seriously... My goodness, that's a whole shopping plaza over there, and that place was empty. Okay, so I knew something in my spirit. There was a check there right away, and then when I walked in the store, I had a check in my spirit. There was just something that was telling me, you know, we, you, you get that feeling that you don't belong here, and you want to go, but you got to get what you need to get and get out of there. So, in which case, that's what I did. 
But then I started noticing the other stuff, the things that were out of and going left or right in the store. Uh, that would be the dairy and stuff like that on one side, all the way over to the produce and bakery on the other side. Pretty much out of everything, y'all. I'm not joking. Um, and then when I got to, which I didn't even think about looking because I already made my spaghetti. But then when I looked at that aisle, there was nothing in it. And I'm like, this is cray. This was even worse than uh, last time we had this kind of situation that I saw. And no, it didn't surprise me. Uh, but for some reason, there was an uneasiness in my spirit. You know how, I don't know if I was hearing this in the spirit or, or what was going on, but it sounded like like we, we got butterflies and bees everywhere today. This is crazy. We just came out of a deep freeze. All right, sorry, off, tra off track. All right, so, um, you know, I wasn't afraid or anything or in fear, and, and I haven't had like an impartation of the Holy Spirit since like, my goodness, I think it was back a few years back on close to the 4th of July when that happened. So, I'm talking to the Lord through this whole thing, and there was probably only 10 of us in the whole store, and two of us having a face, okay? So, I mean, I was looking everywhere, looking behind the counters. Was anybody doing anything? Because I'm hearing all this noise. Oh, look, the moon just came out. It's okay. What just happened? <laughs> all right, so, oh, look. <laughs> Come, Jesus. Yeah, that's it. All right, <laughs> blow the trumpet. Um, so I'm looking everywhere and I got this check in my spirit because something's telling me not to take my phone out, not to take pictures, not to video, uh, get your stuff and go. So I saw, like I said, I was just looking over there and since y'all were with me when we bought all the butter up at $1.99, <laughs> that's what I was saying, and, and then I see now that it's on sale for $5.99, but somebody handed me a $2 off coupon. And it's not that I needed any, but the Lord told me triple. Okay, so I guess what he's saying, since everything was so low, they were trying to get rid of everything on sale, everything's coming back triple. All right, so then I also hear today, actually, I hear on a video that he's a truck driver, and since they're refusing to take the you know what, that this is why it's all being stopped. It has nothing to do with trucking or, or anything. It's everything to do with they've got it and they want to bring it out, but they're not going to conform to certain things and I don't blame them. All right, and there was also some other stuff that happened here in the meantime. Um, there was one day that was really cold, in that Matt, um, where all of a sudden, my heat went out, and it wasn't the power. I didn't lose power. I lost heat, the heater. I'm like, oh, no. This is, like, just not a good thing. And, okay, so I'm trying to do everything I can to fix it, first of all. <laughs> like I'm an electrician or something, right? Um, but I know where the power is, not in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So... I think it was about 4.30 when I walked over to that thermostat and I laid hands on that thing and I said, in the name of Jesus, <laughs> just like that. <laughs> I was a little upset. But I went ahead and got, um, you know, little space heaters out and stuff like this to get warm. And, well, don't you know, that was the night I was cooking my spaghetti. <laughs> At 10.10 10 that night was when I was finally eating it. I'm standing there putting a plate together and I'm hearing this noise that sounds like the heater. <laughs> I'm like, what? Really? Music to my ears. So, that was a wonderful thing, but I do also believe that it was a sign, okay? Y'all can figure this out. What was the Lord sharing with me? Okay, so then, let's go back to Croker. <laughs> now, during this time, like I said, I, I also used the checkout myself, you know, part. And thank goodness I had was there using my coupons <laughs> because I got to save a little bit anyway. <laughs> that was crazy. And that's what I was laughing at. And then trying to figure out how to come out and code. But also, like I was trying to say, uh, the moon's disappearing behind the clouds. Amazing. Um, sorry, distracted. How uh, 
prices were crazy. <laughs> it was like uh, triple, if anything, if not more than. So I can't imagine what it's going to be like. But also Kroger, uh, also I looked online and Walmart and all these other prices are also out of. All right. So no explanations whatsoever. So I couldn't find anybody that I knew to talk to about this. And then on the, the checkout part, I'm talking to this young boy that didn't know me. And everybody knows me there. And I think I kind of just said it wrong because I immediately felt that wall come up. And that look, <laughs> that look that I got, I'm like, oops, okay, Let, let's approach this another way, Deb. Um, Holy Spirit gave me that check. So I started asking him things like, you know, is there a better day to come in here when there's stuff on the shelf or what? And the word that he used was, he goes, well, no, not really. Uh, the weekend's a while and things are starting to trickle in. I think he said that like three times. Trickle in. So I didn't want to ask any more questions and uh, because I think he knew where I was going. And they're probably already warned or told what not to say. Okay? All right. Got that? Got that. Okay. So saying that, um, when I left and got out, man... In my spirit, I mean, I'm like in amazement, not in shock from what I'm seeing, because I expected it. All these dreams and visions, I mean, the Lord already warned us. And the actual reality of it and the fact of knowing that we're like ready to bust out of here at any second. And, and you know, that busted assurance, Jesus is mine, that's for sure. But then again, we're thinking about, you know, those that are less. So it's a bittersweet kind of feeling. But this was a sudden thing, all right? This was suddenly it changed. Those two days before that, or a few days before that, maybe not two, the place was full of everything. There was no shortages whatsoever. So as I'm getting in the parking lot and trying to leave, I'm hearing the Lord tell me to warn. And I'm like, okay, Lord, as soon as I get home. And he's like, warn. <laughs> and I'm arguing with the Lord at this point. I'm like, okay, Lord, warn. Well, I don't want to use their Wi-Fi. It's on 5G. And, you know, I'm aimlessly driving around the parking lot. Because I really, I felt like I was in a trance, a Holy Spirit trance. I haven't had an impartation like that in a long time. So, <laughs> thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> my representation of right there. Um, so, as I'm aimlessly walking around, driving around the parking lot, I got pulled over uh, to that side where I was able to come out, but I could, I noticed in the video that it's all choppy, it froze up, it, it took out like five or eight minutes of things that I, that I literally said, so it made me sound like some kind of a crazy lady, and I know you all know I am anyways, I'm crazy about Jesus, yes, <laughs> and so I come home and I see that the video's up, because I've also got my settings on uh, not to upload, right, unless I'm on Wi-Fi. So, <laughs> I'm waiting for it to get home. I'm going to ixnate a video. Well, I see that it's already up, and some of y'all had already commented. So, I wanted to come out and explain it. And I will explain more on Saturday Night Live, all right? But I wanted to come out and share that, hey, seriously, I mean, the weather is cray. 73 today, we're on a roller coaster. We got an alert this morning that said we're, I don't know, severe winds coming in at 9 o'clock tonight. So we've gotten a, a very big warning if they give us that much of it in advance. And then I just noticed by the weather app that North, Car North Carolina, um, <laughs> North Carolina, that too. I'm thinking about y'all. Um, uh, north of me here in Oklahoma, I'm seeing snow and ice up there. So if we get rain, that's okay. That's what can wash as white as snow. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh my goodness, I've fallen. All kinds of things have happened, but you know what? God is faithful. God is good. And he will sustain us. He will protect us. And oh yes, he gives us enough. Our daily bread, he gives us enough for each day as we take no thought for tomorrow, right? <laughs> but 
by everything through prayer and supplication. Make your request known to God. I'm not anxious for anything. I'm not worried about anything. I know that Titus 2.13 is fixing to part those clouds and call us up hither. I've been fighting, or not fighting, I have been, you know, attacked by, you know, the ones that want to debate about everything and wow, you know, you know how that can be if you're a creator, right? <laughs> so I love y'all so much and thank you for being there for me. <laughs> but that also shows, like I said, five to eight minutes of that video was taken off and I have my phone set that it should not have uploaded, but loaded, but it did. <laughs> As I say that, oh my goodness, there's, the moon looks really bright from here, but not from there. But keep looking up because, wow, surely, with everything that's happening, fast and suddenly, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, come up hither. We will be called, and we will forever be with our Lord. Debbie from Texas, peace out. Keep looking up. Our King surely is coming. <laughs>